Live behind decisions I chose. Peaks feel good and those valleys get low. Chains What's going on, boxing heads? It's your boy. Cool like kind of boxing. Go, Coming back at you with another boxing video down, for the boxing heads in the boxing mind. So, um, please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content. So, uh, Tank Davis, the pay per view star. Um, Floyd Mayweather, you know, number one, you know, fighter over at Mayweather Productions, you know what I'm saying? He is a star. He's a pay-per-view star. And we all know that Tank has extraordinary power. One crack from, you know, a left or a right uppercut from Tank is enough to knock out all lightweights. And uh, we know that uh, Tank is a special talent. But now it's reported, you know, through early setback, you know, saying he, he uh, did an interview with one of uh, Tank's Davis sparring partners that Tank Davis knocks out heavyweights, you know, knocks them out, bro. You know what I'm saying? He he knocked out this one sparring partner that the uh, interview went with uh, Ellie Setback. And I'm just paraphrasing. He said that, you know what I'm saying? Tank knocked out this heavyweight to the point where he thought Big Boy was dead. You know, he just said the dude was, you know, Tank, Tank hit him with a shot so hard that he just thought he was laying on the top rope out right now i'm just paraphrasing that's that's what was said right or that's the picture that the sparring partner painted and so you know the reporter asked the uh the sparring partner who saw this and asked could loma take the power right of a uh, i mean could lomachenko take uh tank power and so he just kind of digressed and said, well, you know, the dude, you know, just, he knocks out, he knocked out this heavyweight. So, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, he said a lot of people don't understand that the fight wouldn't go the way we think because of Lomachenko's, you know what I'm saying? Foot movement is good. Now, in my opinion, it don't matter how good your, your foot movement is when you're fighting Tank Davis because... He's just as fast and athletic as, uh, you know, any fighter in boxing. You know, so he is young enough. He has the young um, abilities and the athletic ability to keep up with anybody. Just like Teofimo Lopez was able to keep up with Lomachenko and pivot with Lomachenko. I think Tank could do even better than that, um, especially with his uh, offensive power. His reflexes, his hand speed. Tank is a nightmare for Lomachenko right now. All that was missing was, you know, Tank having experience and believing in himself and his confidence. Now he has that and it's on another level. And I don't think Lomachenko want to see Tank, you know, because Lomachenko, he's only, you know, aggressive on his front foot. And Tank definitely got the, the speed and the power and the offensive ability and the intelligence to push Lomachenko back for most of the fight because if he come forward, you know, he could get hit with something. And we saw in the, in the Tia Puma Lopez fight that Lomachenko, he stays away when he don't understand, you know, saying how if he can't read your movements, and I don't think he would be able to read uh, Tank's movement because he's crafty, he's unpredictable. And um, we could see Lomachenko didn't throw a punch in the uh, Teofimo Lopez fight to like the seventh round. So Tank Tank wouldn't allow Lomachenko to, uh, you know what I'm saying, to move around and escape like that. You saw how he walked down Mario Sporios and he was able to put the Faluma Loom on him, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, Lomachenko, you know, he can dance, but, you know, Tank is the younger guy and he has a, a tank on him. Now he has a gas tank on him, so he'll be able to, you know, dance Lomachenko down and, you know, Lomachenko could do what he do, but, you know, he'll get Faluma Loom. So, you know, when they ask Tank Davis, it's like, how do, how do uh, lightweights take your power? Tank, you know what I'm saying? He said, you know, don't get in there with me. You know what I'm saying? He said, that's it. That's how they could take it. Don't get in the ring with them, which was a cool little answer, you know. And um, they compared, you know, Tank Davis to uh, Demetrius uh, Salida, who used to spar with Floyd Mayweather because Floyd Mayweather knocked him out 
in their sparring section years ago. And, you know, Dimitri Salida says, uh, you know what I'm saying, he was talking smack, you know what I'm saying, to Floyd. And, you know, he went to his gym and said he won a box. And, of course, Floyd was like, get my stuff out the car. And we know Floyd, if you know anything about Floyd, is his hand was always brittle. So he had always had power, but he would always break his hands in the early parts of his career. And he had to stop throwing power like that. He had to change his style because his hand, because of his brittle hand. And so a lot of people just assumed that Floyd Mayweather never had power. But in this one, uh, this one story that came out aspiring, um, Floyd Mayweather went in there to show this guy and they said in 30 seconds they said Floyd was shoulder rolling the guy was trying to you know punch Floyd up out of there and Floyd dropped him you know what I'm saying with a with a body shot and that was that so but you know this story doesn't surprise me because I, I've always I've seen Floyd early fights and I, he definitely had power and um, you know we've seen how he always broke his hands after fights always had some kind of injury that kind of stopped him from you know get, you know being able to display power you know on a consistent level at some point in the fight his hands will get hurt or he'll break or you know what i'm saying and you'll see him you know having to adjust in the fighting box so you know think you know he's a little bit more uh sturdier and plus he's not fighting the kind of competition that uh floyd mayweather fought uh, Floyd Mayweather fought, you know, Castillo, he fought uh, Diego Corrales, and, you know, he fought, like, some real beast in the ring, Zab Judah, you know, guys who was, you know, highly talented, if not just as talented as Floyd Mayweather, and, you know, Tank ain't facing those kind of guys, but, you know, so I'm sure he would have been competitive against them, but, but power for power, you know what I'm saying, you know, it's no way to tell, I think Tank might have more power, but he don't have the defense or the, uh, the, the ring IQ of Floyd Mayweather. I think Tank IQ is up there, you know what I'm saying, though, but I just don't think he has the, uh, you know, the smaller skills that Floyd have yet. And who, who knows if he continues, he might, you know what I'm saying, get there, but he's going to have to face better competition. And, um, you know, but, you know, Floyd, you know, he's his career is over, so, you know, we can look at what he's done, and hopefully, you know, Tank could, you know, taking, taking his career into his own hands, maybe, you know, he'll, um, you know, saying, ratchet up the competition level so we can see what he can really do, see if he'll face a Devin Haney or will he face you know, uh, Frank Martin or somebody, you know, we want to really see him in the ring with um, Stevenson, you know what I'm saying, fight somebody of that caliber. And then we can get a clear assessment of where he stands on the, on the scale of greatness. Um, also, you know, you know, Tank, he's, uh, he's going to be fighting Ryan Garcia. And um, I think, you know, I put my money on Tank in that fight, even though Ryan is... 5'10", he's bigger, he's longer, he's fast, and he's got power, but he don't have the craftiness or the, uh, the ring IQ that, that Tank has. You know, even at, you know, Frank, I mean, even at um, Tank's stature, you know what I'm saying, he's going to be way too much for Ryan, you know, who's, you know, haven't been taking his uh, craft seriously, and you know, he just haven't had the uh, competition of the time to make the adjustments to beat a Tank Davis. So, you know, it is what it is. And that's all I got. This has been Full Counter Boxing. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content. Peace. Back of my head, the thoughts killing me. I don't have a second to spare, well, not willingly. Way too much effort in people who not feeling me. Equivalent of burning myself with hot spilling tea. I'm talking like Jerry, man, what you gonna do? I need to pick up like half court, two on twos. Guess it's just another obstacle I move on through. While I'm looking at the runway that 